Hi guys. Uh, so basically, I'm the developer of uh, Hydra 3, and this video is a quick overview of the new features uh, in this application. Um, I will start off by uh, showing you uh, the new details in the user interface uh, for this app, and uh, uh, we'll continue with some more detailed features uh, afterwards. Uh, the, the way it works is basically the same, so you put your uh, different exposure shots in the application and uh, you can then uh, process, this, uh, process them uh, in a number of ways. Um, the, the, the user interface has been uh, without uh, because uh, we wanted to, put, to set the photographer in the center of the, uh, the process uh, and we have uh, basically now uh, two modes of operation. Uh, the first one is prepare, and the, net, and the other one is uh, develop. Uh, prepare uh, lets you uh, somehow uh, analyze your, your photos, uh, view the settings, uh, change the settings. You can align uh, the various images because you can move between shots when doing uh, uh, multiple exposure shots uh, of the same scene. Uh, you may need to crop the the image at some, at some point, and of course there's uh, this uh, wonderful new feature of uh, ghost removal, uh, which which uh, allow you to uh, cope with uh, moving objects in uh, in uh, scenes. Uh, but we'll come back to this uh, later. Uh, the second mode of operation is the uh, develop mode, uh, which. Uh, will let you uh, choose uh, how the, the image looks in the end uh, uh, and uh, fully control the appearance and uh, rendering of, of that image. Uh, we, we try to provide uh, two kind of uh, uh, operation. Uh, the, the first one is using presets, so you can quickly change presets and see how it affects uh, the output image. But uh, then you can uh, finally adjust any of the settings of the tone mapper uh, in uh, uh, smart ways. Uh, and uh, that's about it. Uh, so, um, first of all, I will show you uh, in the prepare phase uh, some improvements in the Im image alignment uh, in Hydra 3. Uh, so basically you have this button which is uh, auto alignment, you click on it and Hydra will try to automatically align the shots. So the shots can be uh, different because uh, you did not use a tripod, so uh, the camera moved between the shots uh, or for any other reason. Uh, Hydra will make its best to uh, align back those images uh, and it will create for, uh, a number of alignment points. So that's what you can see here. Th there are there are uh, four points. You can see them here, and uh, uh, when you pick one point, uh, Hydra will show you uh, the different correspondences uh, in, uh, in the different images, uh, and you can uh, fully uh, adjust this uh, to better uh, reflect uh, image alignment. Uh, this is new. So uh, when you move a point, you have a kind of X-ray. Uh, uh, display which uh, allows you to very uh, precisely align those images. Uh, the one in yellow is the reference one. You you shouldn't move it, or you can move it, but uh, it's uh, the other one that should be moved. Uh, and there you can finally adjust them and uh, see the result of the alignment in real time in the main view. Uh, if you hit tab, uh, you can move across uh, uh, the points and uh, again, uh, finely tune them uh, with uh, sub-pixel uh, accuracy. Uh, this seems fine. Okay, this one too. Okay. And the last one. Okay. Seems good. Uh, you can add any number of points, but uh, because the, the underlying uh, transformation is an um, homography, uh, four points uh, fully determine it. So, uh, well, uh, you can use at least four points, but if you use more, uh, well, it will be okay, but uh, won't bring much more into the alignment. Um, so, that's about it. Um, 
now uh, we can move to the 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 new uh, feature, which is the ghost removal. Uh, I will show you another photo set uh, for this. Uh, okay, don't save. New document, and I will use this uh, wafer shop uh, in San Francisco. Um, here you can see, so uh, there, there are uh, three images. Uh, Hydra uh, can take up to seven images in the, the Pro version and three in the Express version. And uh, as you can see, uh, you can move across the exposure there by just dragging the mouse uh, in those uh, thumbnails. And if you look uh, accurately, uh, you will see that uh, this person is not there in all images. Uh, because it, it, it moved uh, he, he moved uh, across the shots um, and uh, what will happen is that uh, when Hydra will try to merge those images into a single image uh, it will be somehow confused uh, about this because uh, it is not the same uh, intensity uh, luminosity uh, at every pixel because uh, the, the scene changed uh, in that place and uh, this creates uh, ghosts so, uh, oh, first of all, I will align the images because uh, they also moved uh, a bit between shots. Okay, so alignment is okay. And then I will move to the uh, ghost removal. Uh, so, if we click here, uh, if you look at this place in the merged image, uh, you will see that the guy uh, creates a, a kind of ghost there. Uh, uh, you see some artifacts in the, 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 the merged image uh, and we will cope with that using the, the manual zone, uh, uh, ghost removal zone, uh, uh, which is very easy to use. So the main idea of Hydra uh, is that it will try to merge uh, every single pixel of images uh, using all input images, every single input images. Uh, but you can somehow change this. Uh, you can tell that uh, for this zone, you don't want to use uh, 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 all images, uh, but only some of them. So if you look at the, the, the first one, the guy is there, and the second and third one is not there anymore. Uh, so basically what we will uh, do is tell that for the final image, we only want to use uh, the second and third uh, images and not the first one. So we just pick the zone that we just uh, uh, have drawn and uh, we uncheck the first image. And as soon as you do that, you see that the artifact is uh, is gone. You have some more control on the, the softness of the zone. Uh, so if you set it to the minimum, uh, you would see, you could see some kind of uh, borders appear around the zone. Uh, and if you put the, the softne softness uh, a bit higher, uh, it will be more of like a, a gradient, uh, uh, smooth transition between the outside and the inside of the zone. So the, the, the middle value should be okay for this. Um, so the artifact is, is uh, corrected. Uh, you can always uh, see how it was uh, uh, before using the zone. So you see here the artifact is there if you use the zone it's gone so very powerful feature for for hdr lovers um, okay so with this uh, we'll move to uh, the, the the second uh, big mode of uh, uh, hydra which is the develop mode uh, and uh, this mode uh, allows to fine-tune uh, every kind of detail in the uh, in the uh, final image. Uh, you probably will start off you picking a, a preset because uh, it will make the, the work easier. Maybe, uh, well, I don't know, this one or this one. Uh, those are very different presets. Um, maybe the sepia tones is not bad. Um, and uh, then you can uh, move to the adjust uh, pane which uh, gives you some um, uh, 
more detail and fine tuning capabilities to 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 create your uh, your final image. Uh, the first option is the the overall uh, exposure of the image. You can make it darker or brighter, and you see that the wall uh, dynamic range is preserved. If you go dark, you see that the the zones over there are just there, and uh, you can make them uh, appear. Uh, but uh, what you probably want to do is to get uh, both the dark zones and the, the bright zones uh, appear in the final image. And uh, this is why you can use uh, uh, some other settings, uh, such as the highlights. If you bring them down, you will see the, the details uh, will appear again uh, in those areas. Uh, in contrast, if you push the shadows, you, you will make uh, the shadow area brighter and uh, and uh, well, see more in the in the image. But uh, that's not all. Uh, uh, Hydra Tree has a, uh, a kind of uh, scoped settings, and by scoped I mean that uh, all those settings, the the, the details, uh, brightness, contrast, hue, saturation, can be uh, uh, changed individually for uh, well the overall image, but also for the dark tones, bright tones red, green, blue uh, tones and uh, change significantly the, the way the output looks. This, this gives a lot of control to the, to the photographer. Uh, I will uh, give you some uh, example of this. So if we go into the dark tones and want to make them uh, more uh, contrasted, uh, we just do this and uh, only the dark tones will move, the, the bright ones will, will stay unchanged. Uh, in contrast, if we just want to adjust the bright tones and put some more details. You can see over there uh, the details are changing just in the bright, the bright areas. Uh, uh, and that's not all. Uh, in the, the pro version of Hydra, uh, you can have some form of uh, uh, probe-based uh, selection, which will uh, further allow to uh, change uh, many uh, different uh, 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 appearance uh, on the image. I will show you how. Uh, you click this plus button uh, only on the probe version and this creates a probe. Uh, this probe is uh, basically a selection mechanism and that you can uh, further adjust uh, by limiting uh, uh, to uh, uh, where the, 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 uh, the luminance is uh, the same so you, you decrease the, the, the luminance tolerance uh, you could also have uh, some threshold and uh, distance, so if you don't want to have the, the entire image, but just some part around the probe. Uh, so this basically gives you the, uh, the selection marker. Uh, then you click outside of it and uh, you can uh, change some uh, value over there. If you want to push the, uh, the saturation, for instance, you can bring back color in those areas but just on, this, uh, on these areas. Uh, if you want to color it, uh, you can have some uh, form of uh, uh, well, uh, color uh, uh, filling. Uh, you can do whatever you want. It's a very powerful tool. Uh, you can create another probe and say, for instance, uh, in the, the wood over there, I want some, uh, some different handling. Okay, I'm trying to get this. Okay, let's try. And uh, you can change uh, some uh, values over there, uh, make it more con more contrast or less contrast. Okay, there you go. Um, so. Uh, at any point in the, 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 the tuning of the settings, uh, we'll remove this probe because it doesn't look good. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Uh, at any point in uh, changing the settings, you, you can save uh, snapshots of the settings. So. Let's say you you like this one. Double click here and it saves a, a snapshot. Uh, if you want to move to some other presets, 
uh, this one is nice too I save snapshot uh, this one too uh, you can further adjust and uh, uh, less contrast for instance and uh, and oh, not on the probe on the overall okay uh, and then you you can resave that that uh, snapshot and at any point in time you can compare those different uh, settings and pick the, the one that you you prefer uh, so a lot of control uh, a lot of capabilities in the new tone mapper and uh, we hope this uh, will bring uh, some uh, uh, real value to the photographer okay so uh, uh, now uh, that you have your image uh, you might want to uh, export it and uh, we uh, brought in uh, many new uh, capabilities uh, on that front too uh, basically, when you're done, you just click uh, this uh, export button and you have a, a bunch of new uh, cloud-based or file-based uh, export uh, options uh, such as Facebook, Flickr, Twitter. You can send an email directly from, uh, from Hydra, uh, re-export uh, the image back to iPhoto, Aperture, Lightroom or save the picture as a file with different file formats. Um, so it's very rich, uh, gives you a lot of capabilities. Uh, here we'll, we'll just uh, save the file to the desktop and uh, you also notice that uh, this uh, this is a 10 megapixel uh, image uh, this image will just render in a, a couple seconds uh, let's do it okay boom it's done and here is the result uh, you can see it full size so you see it's a full 10 megapixel image and that's about it. Uh, again, in uh, Hydra Pro, uh, we uh, we had a new feature that uh, the pro photographers were uh, requesting, and uh, this is uh, batch processing. Uh, the way it works is that uh, you have this this window. I will close the the document there. Uh, don't save. Uh, and you can uh, uh, simply drop images or folders uh, uh, into that window and Hydra will automatically cope with uh, um, creating uh, photo sets and uh, uh, giving you uh, uh, choices on how to process each of those photo sets. Uh, I can uh, simply go to this folder, drag and drop it, okay, and uh, Hydra will uh, make the photo sets. It will uh, to do the, those photo sets. It will look at the the uh, exif data of the the image. Uh, they must be from the same uh, camera. Uh, the times uh, the, the time of capture uh, is also compared to to, to make uh, appropriate choices, uh, and uh, uh, that's uh, fully automatic. Uh, if uh, Hydra fails to create a photo set because it merges two of them uh, together or in instead split uh, a photo set into two, uh, you can use those things to, to remerge them back. Uh, or here you, you can see those are different uh, photos. Uh, you can split, split these photo sets and uh, it creates a new one. Uh, then you, you simply select uh, a number of uh, photo set and choose a number of options. Uh, you can uh, decide to apply uh, any of the presets uh, to those photo set, the, the selected ones, and uh, save the, the, the output as uh, uh, JPEG files or any other uh, file format. But another option is to uh, directly create uh, a, a document, a uh, Hydra document, that uh, you can uh, uh, edit back uh, later. Uh, uh, this will save you some time. If you don't like, you can create both of them. Uh, if you don't like the picture that that's, uh, that comes out of uh, the, this automatic settings, you can uh, reopen the document and uh, manually tune any settings and uh, recreate a, a new picture from that. Uh, so basically, that, that, that's it. If you hit go, uh, it will uh, simply uh, start processing uh, the images. It takes some time, depending on the options you you have uh, you have uh, chosen, and you can see that the the documents and the and the, the pictures are uh, saved uh, to to uh, 
to the desktop. Okay, that's uh, that's about it for the the, the quick tour, and developer tour of uh, of Hydra. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, you can download the the, uh, the the free trial on the website and uh, try it yourself. You just get the watermark, but you can otherwise uh, fully fully uh, use the software. Okay, thank you for listening, and uh, uh, see you soon.